I am here with Jetty Bones. Can you guys introduce yourselves? Yeah, I'm Kelsey. I'm Brenna. And uh, how'd you guys come up with your band name? Ooh, this is my favorite question. Um, I actually have worked at a coffee shop for a really long time. I run it now. And there was a regular who came in all the time, and her name was Betty Jones. And she told me the story once about how she broke out of her all-girls reformatory Catholic school and um, she hitchhiked to a town where she got a cab that she left at a random person's house ran inside to the house and had them pay the bill and then left. And um, all the other girls started calling her Jetty Bones because they said that there would be nothing but a Jetty Bones left when the nuns got a hold of her. And like this, this woman, she got really sick and she got cancer and I told her that the next project I had I would name after her. But I just thought it was like a really beautiful example of someone who was unhappy in a situation um, going out of their way to take a risk to be what, like where she was happy. I wrote that very And uh, are you guys working on any new music? Consistently. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Kelsey writes all the time. Yeah, like on a daily basis. Yeah, we, we played a new song today, and that was went really well, actually. <laughs> yeah, people were really receptive of it. Um, I think our last release, and which is also our, our first release, um, is kind of kind of like sad, I guess, to like really cool people and emotionally, but a lot of the stuff that we've been working on now is a little bit more upbeat. Um, I think it'll bring in more of like a crowd reaction, but we're um, working on a full length probably end of the year, beginning of next year. And can you describe any of your new music? Like what's the meaning behind it? Um, well, my biggest thing with music is that I write as a coping mechanism to deal with the things that I'm going on, the things that I can't like, quite articulate in everyday conversation, and I share that. Oh, it is raining now. I like it. I, uh, I like sharing music and playing shows in an attempt to create a sense of relativity with people so that they don't feel so alone with the things that they're dealing with. Is this the part where we get out of the rain? Yeah, yeah, we probably should. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the interview so far, oh, where it stops raining. Lord. Do you, you want to go out there? Yeah. So, after the transition from the rain. Yeah, we, we were dampened by the weather, but we got out of it, and here we are, and now I have flowers. <laughs> what do you guys think is the hardest part about playing shows, or being on the road in general? Today, I was really sweaty, <laughs> so I kept dropping sticks. I, uh, I was proud of myself for the way I recovered, but so far that's been it, just being sweaty. Um, I have a, I have a, a really hard time with social anxiety, and it, it's strange because if you put me in a situation where I need to talk to a bunch of people outside of a show, I, I can't do it. Like my mind shuts down. Um, but in this setting, like I feel really safe and really connected with people. But leading, um, leading up to shows. I always get really nervous. Like, I was throwing up this morning, so I was so nervous. But, I, yeah, before shows I get really nervous, but once I get on stage uh, and we, like, kind of start playing, I feel like I'm extending a piece of myself out through the music and, like, connecting with people that way, and it makes me feel really close to people. So, I, that was... Yours was, like, much deeper than mine. That, yeah, I, that's the biggest Sweating. thing I struggle with at shows. <laughs> I'm really hard on myself if I like screw up or find that stuff because I'm afraid that I may have missed an opportunity to like connect with someone or like help them. So if I screw up, I'm like, oh crap. So like nervousness and anxiety. Mm -hmm. Same. Making sure I don't have armpit sweat on stage. Just sweat. Yeah. And sweat. 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 And that. What's your favorite song that you've created? Um. I think that the, my, uh, my favorite song is always going to be whatever we've written most, most recently because that's what's fresh and that's generally based around like emotions or feelings that I'm still currently feeling. So we actually played a new song tonight and currently that I think that's my favorite. It was a lot of fun too. Yeah. The working title is Honey but it's not released yet so <laughs> don't quote me on that if you hear it. It says the word honey in it though. When it comes out, you um, know. For anybody that's aspiring to be a musician or go on tours or anything, is there any advice that you'd give them? Do you both want to do like three sentences of advice? Who wants to start? Um, just do it. 
Nikes, you might <laughs> um, sponsor us. Um, no, I think that it's really important to remind creative people that everybody's an individual with their own story to tell. Um, so whenever you're discouraged or you know you feel like you're comparing yourself to other people and you're not on the same level, you're the only person who has that story to tell and you're the only one who can convey the things that you're feeling to other people and communicate with your art. So it's really important to stay genuine but also optimistic. Nice. I run a Tumblr advice blog, so I'm going to answer your questions. <laughs> Pretty good with the anonymous. Yeah, just practice and, and do it. And like do it with people who you can be genuine with and who you can be open with and vulnerable mm -hmm. with. I think that's really important. It's something we, like, as friends, have like developed. It's just like a, a really cool vulnerability with each okay. other. Yes, this is okay. You're so vulnerable. And like openness with each other. It's really important when you're making music with somebody because it is like your inner, like, yeah. all of you, like coming out for this like creative project. And it's really cool. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah, do it, do it, do something you love, do it with people you love. There are a lot of parts that get sounds really awkward now that I'm overthinking it. There are a lot of parts of yourself that get exposed when you're working with someone in a musical sense that you normally don't show other people. So being able yeah. to have a comfortable relationship with the people you are artistically connected with is really yeah. And how long has your guys' band been around? I would say we've been actively playing for about a year. Um, but we actually didn't release any music online um, for digital or like hard copy distribution until about a month ago. So it took us, we basically spent like a year like figuring out exactly what this was going to be, how it's going to work, and then it was like time to do it, I guess. Yeah. God's timing, not ours. And do you guys have any last words for any of the viewers? Um, like life mottos, mine is keep your chin up but never put your nose in the air. What is this? I'm keeping my chin up but my nose is down. It's about being optimistic, Brenna, but mine nothing is, is not. Mine is don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I have a life motto. We'll, we'll work on that. Yeah, we'll work on that. Um, have a life motto. Have a life motto. And we do have uh, social media everywhere, Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook. Um, we kind of use my personal Snapchat around shows. So that stuff is really cool. And do you want to cite those social medias? Uh, yeah. Uh, Instagram is at Jenny Bones Music. Twitter is at Jenny Bones. Um, our Facebook profile name is just Jenny Bones. And then my social media handles on everything, including Snapchat, are Kelsey Damory, but it's K-E-L-C. D-A-N-M-A-R-I-E. Got me.